For more than 25 years, physicists have searched intensively for the mechanism behind high temperature superconductivity. One suggestion is that high temperature superconductors are condensates of Cooper pairs, just like conventional superconductors, except that Cooper pairs are bound by unconventional bosonic modes. After years of experiments aimed at elucidating this electron boson coupling, such a theory remains controversial. In our work, we perform a comprehensive study of ultra fast pump rope measurements with the aim to directly measure the electron boson coupling. To do that, we study the whole dope family of bismuth, strontium, calcium copper oxide, or BISCO in short to determine how strongly the electron boson coupling depends on hole doping. In a pump probe experiment, the laser beam is divided into two parts, the pump and the probe. Both pulses are generated at the same time, but the probe follows a longer path such that it arrives at the sample with a time delay in comparison to the pump. By measuring reflectance of the probe pulse, for many different path lengths, the time-resolved relaxation dynamics is obtained. Our investigation of differently doped visco samples shows that the relaxation process is strongly doping dependent. For strongly underdoped samples, we find a sharp and small peak, followed by a flat tail in our transient reflectivity data. On the other hand, overdoped samples show a larger peak that decays much more smoothly than for the underdub case. For an optimally doped BISCO sample, the fermionic relaxation process has been successfully described by a three temperature model previously. When we used the three temperature model to fit our data, we were not able to produce good feeds across the entire doping range. We suspect that our data has two different time scales and the interplay between these two is strongly doping dependent. To address the strong doping dependence of the relaxation line shapes, we extended the three temperature model by adding an additional bosonic mode. We therefore propose a five temperature model where the electron relaxation process is mediated by both phonons and spin fluctuations. In this model, the photo excited electrons transfer their energy to hot phonons and hot spin fluctuations. The strength of these couplings is determined by the electron phonon and electron spin fluctuation coupling constants respectively. The two hot bosonic modes themselves may further cool by transferring energy to cold phonons and cold spin fluctuations. We find that with this model, the doping dependent relaxation line shapes are very well reproduced at all dopings. From the individual fits, we obtain the doping trends of the phonon and spin fluctuation coupling constants. We find that the coupling to spin fluctuation decays monotonically when whole doping is increased. In general, we do expect spin fluctuations to become less important in a doping regime far from the antiferromagnetic state. For the electron phonon coupling constant, we observe a pronounced peak at optimal doping where the superconducting transition temperature reaches a maximum. Our analysis of the relaxation dynamics across the entire doping regime suggests the existence of two types of bosonic modes strongly coupled to electrons. This observation should give new insights into the mechanism of high temperature superconductivity in cuprates.